नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू करीज विद बूम्बी टुडे फॉर अ चेंज इट वोंट बी अ कुकिंग वीडियो बट इट विल बी ऑल अबाउट स्पाइसेस दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कुकिंग इंडियन रेसिपीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू स्टेट क्लियरली दैट दिस इज नॉट अ स्पॉन्सर्ड वीडियो आई हैव बॉट ईच एंड एवरी स्पाइस एंड दीज आर दंस दैट आर सोल्ड एट आर लोकल इंडियन ग्रोसरी स्टोर सो आई हैव नो चॉइस बट टू बाय वट एवर इज अवेलेबल टू मी अनादर थिंग वर्थ मैंशनिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो is that from time to time you may hear sounds in the background because this will not be my usual voice over video and the noise that you will be hearing is when my dog was pacing up and down while filming this video so if you hear some rustling noise it's all because mr bo cannot sit still and he is like a shadow always following me okay let's get started this is known as the masala dabba in india so we keep the spices of our choice over here and it varies from each household so this is what i keep in my kitchen so this actually this masala dabba was presented to me by one of my friends and she happened to be the elementary teacher of my son so thanks marcy thank you so much you inspired me to starting this channel so this is how a typical masala dabba looks like it has this outer thing my one has also this lid again to protect this one so what i keep on top is that i keep these bay leaves i'll describe each one of these spices shortly but i'm just now showing that what i keep in my masala dabba so i keep these bay leaves which i always use in my recipes and these are the cinnamon sticks that i need also so i keep it here now here they are as you see in most of my recipes i use cumin seeds that is jeera without cumin seeds i think most of my recipes are incomplete so i use jeera a lot the next one that i use very often in my kitchen but though i don't show it in most of my recipes because probably it will be hard for you to get but it's really very easy to make at home it is known as bengali panch phoron it's five seeds and i have an entire video on that and i always use that for most of my bengali recipes and um i i love this because if you use the this spice these five spices it gives a different flavor to your to all your curries and you sometimes i think that a curry doesn't need any onion garlic ginger nothing if you use just these they have flavor they, all those five spices give different flavors and it really elevates the cooking so much so this is if you ask me among all the spices which one is my favorite this one is my most favorite one panch phoron The next one that I commonly use for all my recipes for most of my recipes are cloves and then these are green cardamoms then this is mustard seed brown mustard brown or black sometimes they call black or brown mustard seeds I use it for dal and different ve- vegetable recipes then this is as we say in bengali kalo jeere or kalonji and also known as nigella seeds in english so i use these also for different vegetable curries and this is fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds that is methi so these are the ones that i keep in my masala dabba now many people they keep powdered spices they keep like turmeric powder kashmiri red chili powder coriander powder cumin powder they keep in this but personally i used to do like that previously but i don't do it now because you know and i am a very clumsy person i i sometimes see the powdered spices getting mixed up with each other it may spill onto this the dust may go onto my cumin powder and i really dislike that like see like i'll show you I don't know whether you can see it or not. See how those spices have gone inside. Now, if it's powdered spices, it it gets 
all over my masala dabba and sometimes it gets into my, my cumin, sometimes coriander powder and then turmeric powder and I don't like that. That really puts me off. So I keep only these whole spices to keep my masala dabba neat and clean. But if you're not clumsy like me, you can definitely put turmeric powder in one, Kashmiri red chili powder in one, coriander powder in one. I just feel that coriander powder and cumin powder needs to be in an airtight container and that's how the, they retain their flavors. I don't like to keep them in my masala dabba. So this is how a masala dabba usually looks like. And oh, and another thing is that it comes, sometimes it comes with a spoon also. Like this is a tablespoon, I don't need that much. So I, if I want to make spice blends, I need a tablespoon. So I use this one. And usually we need teaspoon or, an, or half a teaspoon. So I always keep a teaspoon over here. That's a separate one that I have kept over here. So this goes the masala dabba. Okay. Now if you ask me what are the spices that are the most essential spices that, that are required for an Indian kitchen. None of the companies that are showing up on screen, nothing is sponsored over here. I bought all these spices and this is not a sponsored video and none of the companies are sponsoring. Turmeric powder, this is the most essential one that I think should be in your kitchen if you are interested in Indian cuisine. I cannot stress enough how important this is in Indian cuisine means if you do not find turmeric powder in a recipe that is said to be quite an unusual recipe or a, or a unique recipe and this is a must 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 in your kitchen turmeric powder then comes Kashmiri red chili powder now that you will find many kinds of red chili powder in the Indian grocery store I find most of them to be extremely hot for me so I usually use Kashmiri red chili powder it gives this vibrant red color at the same time it is not as hot and as hot compared to the other red chili powder you will find this chili powder in all my recipes because I really love Kashmiri red chili powder next one is coriander seeds. You know how much I love making my own spice powder. So I never buy coriander powder or ground coriander from the stores. I always buy the whole coriander seeds and then I grind them and I use them. That is so easy for me and I find that they are so flavorful. I just don't like the store-bought ground coriander. So coriander seeds, it's a must in my kitchen. The next one is cumin seeds. Cumin seeds shows up on my screen very frequently. You will see this being used in most of the Indian recipes. Now coming to garam masala. So, for Bengali cuisine, usually we use only three, only three elements go in the garam masala powder. Uh, and if you want a simple garam masala powder, then I would say use the Bengali garam masala powder because it needs only three ingredients. So, it's green cardamoms and sometimes it is known as when you go to the stores they will say green cardamom and also known as elaichi so elaichi and so this one goes in then it's the cloves cloves this is very necessary and the other one it's these cinnamon stick it's flat cinnamon stick Actually, it's very different from the ones that you use, the cinnamon stick that you use in the West. Like if you go to the Indian store, they will say it's written as cinnamon stick flat. And you will find another one that will say cinnamon stick round. So you can use any of these, but usually you will see I use the cinnamon stick 
I use a cinnamon stick flat. It is actually not, it's very different from the ones that is sold in the West. It has a more, I would say, more stronger flavor compared to the ones sold in the West. But guys, if you don't find this and, it, and your Indian store is quite far away, you have to drive miles and miles to go to an Indian store, just forget it. Use the cinnamon stick that that is commonly sold in your grocery store. It may be a bit mild in flavor, but don't worry about that because when I came first to the US, I didn't know where to go for an Indian grocery store. And I always used these round type of cinnamon sticks that were sold in most of the grocery stores. And I didn't find much of a difference in flavor. Yes, this one is more stronger, but I didn't dislike the flavor as well. So please don't drive miles and miles just to get this. Yes, when you go to an Indian grocery store, do stock up on these and stock up your pantry on these. Get some of few packets on these and they stay forever in your pantry, I'm telling you. And you need very little of these, like about an inch or one and a half inch or two inches, not more than that because it becomes too strong if you use in your curries. So yeah, when you go to an Indian grocery store, then you get hold a lot of these and just stash it in your pantry. It stays forever in your pantry. So these go the garam. Now another thing, within the garam masala powder, if you make your own like North Indian garam masala powder, sometimes these whole elaichis are also used for making garam masala powder. Those are the special type of garam masala powder that I also have on my channel. So I call the Bengali garam masala powder as a simple garam masala powder. And the other one, I use it in special dishes. Yeah. So we say, they say black cardamom. These are very strong flavored. And sometimes I use one or two in my mutton uh, or lamb curries. I love these, but I don't use it very often because I use these for special recipes or if I make that garam masala powder that I have on channel. When you are making garam masala powder, then you need javitri, that is mace. So you need these also for making garam masala powder. So I buy this as well. And while making garam masala powder, you also need nutmeg. You can keep some of these in your pantry also and make your own garam masala powder. It's so easy to make. Once you make them at home, you won't go for buying garam masala powder sto at stores because to tell you frankly that garam masala powders sold at stores, they really disappoint me and I like making it on my own. Another spice thing that you really need that is whole black peppercorns. These are really very essential and you know not only for Indian cuisine, for every cuisine I, cuisine I think they, they require whole black peppercorns. This one, kasuri methi, that is dried fenugreek leaves. I love kasuri methi, you know, and it gives such a beautiful flavor and you need very little of this and it really tastes, the dish really tastes just like the restaurants. So, though kasuri methi wasn't used that much previously, nowadays I see them in most of the recipes and I love them too. So, kasuri methi is one that is a must in my kitchen. I have bought kasuri methi from different companies, but to tell you the truth, I really love the Sadaf brand of kasuri methi. I, Again, this is not a sponsored video. I, I wish Sadaf would have sponsored me. <laughs> but no, this is not a sponsored video. But I love Sadaf's fenugreek, uh, dry fenugreek leaves. They are so fragrant. And the other ones that I had bought earlier, I had to dry roast them before using in my recipes because they didn't look okay. They had this grassy smell. But these are really good and they smell so good. Whenever I open my container, it smells so good. And it, it's quite brittle, you see. It's dry, brittle, and I don't have to dry roast it. So, yes, kasuri methi is another one that's essential in my kitchen. And bay leaves. 
Now, bay leaves, these bay leaves are quite different from the ones that are sold in the West. The ones that are sold are much smaller in size and um, these are more fragrant, I would say. But guys, again, if and these are Indian bay leaves, again, from the cassia tree, while the ones at the, in the West, they are from the laurel tree. Uh, but again, guys, if you don't get hold of the Indian bay leaves, then please don't worry. Use the ones that are sold at your stores and don't be bothered so much about what you're using. Just go for the recipe and again I will say get hold of these. If you go to an if you happen to go to an Indian grocery store and see these, just get hold of these few few packets of these. They last forever in your pantry. It's coming to the not so essential but you will see on the recipes now this will be an essential spice used in the south indian most of the south indian recipes these are black or brown mustard seeds i usually use it as a tempering in oil so uh, and it gives beautiful flavors to dals and sometimes black mustard seeds can be really strong then like I use sometimes mustard paste. When I make mustard paste, I always use these yellow mustard seeds. They are much mellow compared to the black mustard seeds and I would say less bitter than the black mustard seeds. But if your gravy calls for a mustard paste, I would highly recommend using yellow mustard seeds and less of black mustard seeds because these are not as harsh as the black mustard seeds and somebody asked me that can I use my uh, yellow mustard seeds while making March Furun that is a Bengali five spice I would say yes you definitely can the black mustard seeds will stand out best but yellow mustard seeds will also work another one is fennel seeds I am not that much of, a, of, fen, of the flavor of fennel so you, you won't see this in most of my recipes but I love these in special spice blends when I roast the spices and then use them then you will see fennel seeds coming on the screen that gives a nice licorice kind of flavor this is the Bengali five spice parch means five and I don't know why they say puran because in Bengali it is not puran we say parch, five and foron. The foron means tempering it in hot oil. When you use whole spices and tempered them and spluttered them in hot oil, that is known as foron. So parch and it should be P-H-O-R-O-N, foron. I don't know, the stores call it as puran and I don't know why they say like that, but that's how they are sold. It's, uh, it, it's made up of five whole seeds and I have an entire video on that so please check that out it is either running on screen or I will leave a link in the description box. Another one is Kalonji that is Nigella seeds. It is used in as again uh, as tempering in hot oil and it has this nutty kind of flavor and it gives a very nice flavor to your curries. So in Bengali cuisine, we use it in potatoes and in different type of dry type of curries where it doesn't need a lot of gravy and I just love this. So, Kalonji and in Bengali it is known as Kalojire. It is Nigella seeds. Then comes Fenokrik seeds. In the south of India, this is always used in, and I really love them. They have many health benefits. It's good for the heart as well. But they have a bitter taste to it. So when you use it, don't use too much. Use very little. And it has this brilliant flavor and it gives a brilliant flavor to your dals, to your curries. Many people ask me, can I substitute these for kasuri methi? And no, you can't do that. Kasuri methi is a different, they ha it has a different flavor and you can't replace kasuri methi with this funny fenugreek seeds. No, you can't. Another one is asafoetida. It has this tongue twisting name. It helps in digestion as well. 
but it has a very very strong smell and don't smell it then you can't use it just don't smell it just when you use it just use a pinch use it in the oil you use it when making dals some of my recipes i have shown using asafoetida uh, but it has a very very strong smell and little goes a long way so and many people don't like its smell also uh, it's known as hing vegetarians use it a lot use it in place of garlic if a recipe doesn't have onion garlic then they use asafoetida it's i won't say it's essential but it's good that if you have it in your pantry next coming to the chilies so you will see in most of my recipes i use dry red chilies so i buy these red whole chilies that they sell in the indian markets and Uh, you will see most of my recipes i am using these dry red chilies but these guys these are again very hot but when you use it in oil when you fry it in oil it gives a nice smoky flavor so this is the one that i use another one that i use it's known as whole bed ki chili it's found in karnataka south of india and it's it has this doesn't look nice though it has the shriveled skin on it when it's dried but it gives a beautiful color to the dish and it's not that hot also it's not as hot as the kashmiri red chili powder and you can make a you can make a paste of this and keep it in your freezer and you can use it also so these are known as bed ki chilies i like these very much comes the kashmiri red chilies and you can use instead of those red whole chilies you can also use kashmiri uh, uh, dry red chilies in your recipes and they are a bit different than the bad ki chilies as you can see let me show you the bad ki chilies are much more i would say here yeah. the bad ki chilies are darker in color while well, these are a bit reddish i don't know whether the camera is showing nicely but yeah i soak them in hot water then i make a paste and i use it in my curries as well so and these will stay again these will stay forever in your pantry so you if you get hold of these then please buy a bag of these and it will stay good forever in your pantry okay another one that you can use in the pakoras that is as i said in one of my onion pakora this is ajwain and these also have a licorice type of smell and i would say if you don't have these if you don't get hold of these then please use thyme because thyme and ajwain has the same uh, thing called as thymol and it has a very similar kind of smell to it so if you don't get hold of ajwain please use time i know people won't like it when i say it. substitutions are options but i'm telling you guys it it has the same component as thyme so if you don't get hold of ajwain seeds then use dry thyme next is poppy seeds i know these are expensive but um if if you buy these then sometimes i put it in the refrigerator because we don't use it quite often and they stay good in that way because any seeds they may get rancid after a few months and if you don't need it so much then it will get rancid and it won't smell good and it's such a pity that you have to throw such an expensive thing in the garbage so poppy seeds it's a delicacy in we have a bengali recipe known as aloo posto or aloo jhinge posto and i have have it in on my channel it's really very delicious you make a poppy seed paste and you use it or sometimes people use it to thick to make thick white gravies or whenever it comes for a white chicken curry or anything like a white gravies they use poppy seeds it is used as a thickener as well this is shahi jeera as we call black cumin in english we usually use this in biryani or any mughlai dishes this is not always essential but amchur powder is a dry mango powder 
and it gives a nice sour flavor. I always tell it to substitute it with lemon juice. If you don't have this, you substitute it with lemon juice. But yes, it has a different flavor and if you can get hold of Amchur powder, then please do so. This is Sambar powder, a special type of spice powder blend that you use for making sambar that is a South Indian type of dal with vegetables and you use this beautiful fragrant spice powder. I, I always have this on hand because if I want a little bit of variation in the dal I just use sambar powder. Sometimes I don't mix with vegetables also. I just use uh, add sambar powder and little bit of tamarind extract and it really turns out really good. These are not essential so chana masala sometimes if you want to make chana masala like I have it on my channel then you can use a spice blend ready-made spice blend and it turns out very flavorful. It is also you can find it as chana masala or you can find it as chole masala both are the same. I sometimes use red kidney beans. I make recipes with red kidney beans and if I'm in a rush, I just use a teaspoon of this rajma masala as well. It comes out really good. Next comes chaat masala. Now this is a blend of several spices and it also has this sour agent like amchur in it. It is sometimes sprinkled over salad. It is also sprinkled over pakoras. And sometimes if you want that extra zing in your curries, like in your vegetable curries, people also use chaat masala at the end. And as the name states, it's chaat masala. When you are having chaats, I don't have much recipes on chaat because I am not that much of a fan of chaat. I know you must be laughing, but to tell you the truth, I'm not that much of a fan of chaat. But yes, if you make any chaat recipes, then chaat masala is an important ingredient. Another thing I always have in my pantry is biryani masala because I love making biryani and whenever I feel like making biryani, I use biryani masala. So this is one thing that I always keep in my pantry. And though the picture shows chicken on it, but it has nothing chicken inside the masala. So if you're a vegan also, you can use this masala. So here you go. I hope I have covered all the spices that are required for Indian recipes and I hope this video will be useful for you and will be less daunting when you go to an Indian grocery store and find several spices out over there which can be really very confusing. Please go down to the comment section if you have any doubts regarding any spices and I will try my best to answer all your questions. Bye bye.